Hey man, I swear to God, I should have run that one back, dude. Fuck, be dropping pick two times in a row. You what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team game. We have more house rules to work with this week in Ultimate Team. Last week we had the college football overtime rules. This week. There are a number of key changes that you'll notice in this game from an ordinary football game. The first thing that sticks out right away, we start off with first down and 20. Instead of first down and 10, you always start off with a first down and 20 with a new down and distance. So that encourages passing the ball way more often. The second thing you'll notice is that there's no fourth down. There's only three downs to work with on a drive. So third down and 13, my opponent's going to kick the field goal. It seems weird, but if he doesn't convert this third down, it's a turnover on down. So... Believe it or not, these new rules actually encourage special teams more often. Because if you don't get off to a good start on your drive, as we are going to get off to the worst start possible, losing 5 yards on that sweep to Odell, now if we don't convert this second down in 25, or at least get most of the yards in this play, which we're not going to get any yards, we don't have much of a choice but to punt the ball, because third down 25, very hard to convert, and if you do not convert it, you know, you give the ball to your opponent at the 20-yard line in that situation, so... Everybody loves going for it on 4th down, but nobody likes going for it on 4th down and 50. And, oh, by the way, it's 3-minute quarters instead of 4-minute quarters if I didn't mention that. So, that's another little quirk in these house rules. And the final major difference you'll notice in these house rules is that if you score a defensive touchdown, a defensive touchdown is worth 15 points instead of the normal 6 for an ordinary touchdown. So, if you get a defensive touchdown, you essentially win the game. So, you definitely don't want to throw any pick 6s, and you don't want to miss field goals either. My opponent had all the momentum going for him, shanks it wide right. I don't know what happened there as we hit the super out route to Torrey Holt getting the first down. And my opponent had an easy chance to get a touchdown and get a 10-0 lead. I absolutely botched my defense on that second down play. Thankfully, he didn't realize pretty much anybody on the right side was a touchdown. Second down and 13, Kurt Warner dancing in the pocket and throwing that ball out of bounds i did not want to get sacked out of field goal range i just wanted to get some points on the board and kind of establish myself in this game because we we're kind of behind the eight ball from the start of the game so now we can play on a level playing field with my opponent and put some of the pressure on him hopefully as odell's gonna get the catch underneath that's fine i'll give that up it's still second down and ten you only got two downs to work with as he's gonna do a sweep right here kind of like we did on our first play on offense and like our first play on offense it got it absolutely blown up so third down and 14 my opponent punts the ball so i actually was not planning on uploading these house rules games like i'm not trying to just upload house rules every single week unless you guys really want to see it as odell beckham jr in the open field trying to make a man miss but as you guys can tell by the title something crazy happened in not this game but the game after so this game i want to show you guys how the house rules are supposed to normally work before i throw you guys into the fire in the next game that we play where you know absolute madness breaks out so second down to 14 i just chewed up all the clock didn't really mean to do that but at the same time we'll try to make this the last drive of the first half if we can or just prevent my opponent from scoring more points since we are already in field goal range we actually get the first down throwing a drag route that should not have worked my opponent kind of botched the play so so I'll take it as we pump fake and eventually do fire to Michael Thomas. And now, a drive where I was kind of satisfied with taking three, we might get seven out of it. And Odell's going to try to do his best, but he cannot turn around and find the end zone one yard short. We are out of timeouts, and we're keeping the offense on the field. A risky play, but the QB sneak is going to work out for Kirk, or Kirk, Kurt Warner and the offense. I figured, you know... If my opponent came out in, like, a play that I felt good about QB sneaking on, I QB sneak. Otherwise, I'll just, like, run out of bounds or something or just throw an incomplete pass and just kick the field goal. So, it was a risk, but sometimes you just gotta go hard or go home, right? So, second down and 17, we are going to try out, um, not an out route. We're actually gonna go with a comeback route. It's man coverage, and Byron Jones ran the comeback route better than my receiver so that was a bit disappointing we throw the interception now we had all the momentum and we've given my opponent new life in this game similar to what he did when we missed the field goal as he throws that ball out of bounds this should be field goal range for him but then again he missed the field goal earlier in the game so i don't know what is field goal range for him doesn't matter et3 has got the ball he tries to test area 29 and he has given earl thomas not only the ball for the interception but he's also put earl thomas in the zone earl thomas is one of our three superstar players on the defensive end so earl thomas has zone hawk he gets an interception he's automatically in the zone cool with us our other superstars are harrison smith the nat harrison smith that we pulled and lawrence taylor gotta have lawrence taylor as an x factor with how deadly he is how much of a game record he can be as a pass rusher so 
I don't have many great pass rushers. We have like, you know, some pretty beefy guys inside like Strahan and JJ Watt. Lawrence Taylor is more of our finesse guy. And then Anthony Barr is just, I don't know, I just got a random budget Anthony Barr on the team. He's like a nat player. He gets the job done though. So I haven't exactly pulled the trigger on getting like a Von Miller or Khalil Mack as we are going to make a bad read and get away with it. My opponent holding that Y button just a bit too long. So that's going to be a dropped interception. I will more than gladly take my three points. That's one of those situations where you're sheepishly grinning as you, you kick the field goal because you know you should not have the opportunity to kick the field goal so i'll make it a two possession game put all the pressure on him now we've turned this game around from the rough start that we had and now first down and 20 with earl thomas in the zone that might as well just knock earl thomas out the zone that's most of the uh, earl thomas is actually not out of the zone yet so it's close but we still have et3 lighting up and we have darius slay getting the interception my opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar he thought he was safe running an rpo bubble screen but we've read it the entire way and remember defensive touchdowns 15 points so this game it's over. Finito. My boy doesn't have much of a chance. We're going to make it a 26-point game late in the third quarter with a PAT. Yeah, you might as well leave. You might as well save your time and move on to the next game. So before we hop into our next game, I'm going to show you guys our lineup. Our three offensive superstars as of right now are Kurt Warner, Odell Beckham Jr., and Marcus Allen. So... I used to have my left tackles as superstars, but the secure pass blocker trait hasn't really worked too well since the patch, so I took them off, and for now, I have them on Odell and Marcus Allen since I already own those superstar traits, so you guys saw the offense, you guys saw the defense. I already have the 12 wins for the house rules, so I'm not quite sure who I want to pick. I want you guys' opinion in the comment section, who we should be thinking about picking up in this pack. Obviously, we want one of the, the highest overall players, so... You know, we're talking about Von Miller, we're talking about J.J. Watt, we're talking about Jalen Ramsey, we're talking about maybe Odell Beckham Jr. because I use the power-up pass to power up Odell, so maybe I get the 86 Odell and get the Nat player back. Maybe a Sherman, I don't know, so... Let me know in the comment section if you guys have the 12 wins or you guys got the 12 wins because the house rules event ended already as I'm uploading this video. So yeah, let me know who you guys picked out here. If you guys opened up the pack, got your 12 wins or who you guys would pick if you guys were in my position. Seeing the way our team is built as we hop into the second game that we're going to do in this video. And this is the game where all hell breaks loose. So first things first, Kurt Warner is our quarterback. Yeah, I did dish out the coinage to get Kurt Warner. I wanted to see how well these pocket passes played. You guys saw the Tom Brady video I did. You guys know how much I enjoyed playing with Tom Brady, the hot route master ability that Tom Brady had, conductor that Tom Brady had, as you see, we kind of just cook up a nice little play, get Torrey Holt open. Unfortunately, Torrey Holt doesn't quite have the juice to get to the end zone. Since he returned my opening kickoff, I probably should fix that, not Torrey Holt returning kickoffs. He was pretty much out of stamina and got brought down to 13-yard line. That was maybe the worst play call ever. This play call is not much better, except for the fact that Marcus Allen is in the seams and has got himself a touchdown. Marcus Allen, not a bad receiver running back but still a fortunate break there for us that was almost a safety that was risky he fair caught the ball but nearly left the end zone beforehand so we got seven points early on in this game a slow starting game considering what you guys are expecting to happen as Marcus Allen gets the juke move my opponent dumping it down on what is essentially third down and seven didn't quite expect that but good for him he's gotten it done you, you won't see many people running the ball because just like that. Now it's second down and 20 and we put the quick pressure. He's not able to make a quick decision. It's third down and 26 and he's going for it. I'm just going to send all the dogs at him. Why not? Let's see if he can make a throw under the rest. He absolutely cannot except to Mar Marshawn Lattimore. I don't know why I always think Marcus Lattimore, but that is Marshawn Lattimore of the New Orleans Saints. And yes, I intercepted the ball. It is way smarter to swat that ball down on what is essentially fourth down, you know, get your field position. But since defensive touchdowns are worth 15 points, I was like, hey, let me try my luck. Unfortunately, didn't get much going there. So we essentially just gave up like 30 yards of field position there at least. So uh, whatever. It's first down and 20. And once again, we run the same play we scored the touchdown on. Marcus Allen out the backfield. Here we're looking for Torrey Holt. I try to get a bit too cute, I suppose. And that'll be tipped and intercepted by Malik Hooker, who goes out of bounds. Hey man, I swear to God, I should have run that one back, dude. Fuck, be dropping pick two times in a row. Uh, fair to him. He probably should not have bobbled that two times. And because of that, he got pinned at his own two yard line. And since we set the quick pressure, Warren's Taylor comes in to force the safety. Once again, he was not ready for the all out blitz that we sent at him. He came out on five wise. So I was like, hey, if you're going to only block five, I'm sending six. Make a decision. And he has not made a good decision on the defensive end. He's come out in goal line defense, left 
what is that, Eric Hendricks or Michael, one of the Kendricks guys, that should not be covering Tory Holt, because that's an easy touchdown for us, and yeah, this is where the game kind of just flips on its lid, my opponent has lost his mind, he has absolutely lost his mind, Marcus Allen fumbles the ball, Ken Houston cannot recover, and because the ball goes out of bounds, it's going to be a safety, that was an opportunity to get a 15 point touchdown, but either way, it's going to be a safety, we're going to get the ball back, and my opponent once again comes out in goal line, so yeah, he is essentially lost it i don't know what he's doing this was not the best play call for my opponent coming out on goal line so if he's gonna come out on goal line again as he calls a timeout looks like he's still trying uh, at least mentally i don't know if play calling wise he's trying because he's come out in goal line once again i don't know if he thinks that's gonna work but um we're gonna have to shelf that boy tory holt just got another long touchdown and unless my opponent can find a way to get a defensive touchdown it's gonna be a long road a nearly impossible road to try to get back in this game and he's not helping out the cause by taunting and getting down intentionally at the four yard line taunting in the end zone with marcus allen and marcus allen's gonna be tackled for a safety again so when you get into one of these kind of games i know every not everybody but a fair share of people get into one of these kind of games where you're kind of blowing out your opponent and your opponent just loses his mind and starts throwing the game and just starts doing all sorts of weird stuff and kind of trying to waste your time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the most of my time in this game. Yeah, my opponent's coming out on goal line, but I'm going to come out and run this ball. I'm going to run a pitch with Marcus Allen, and I'm going to get some rushing, touchdown, rushing touchdowns and rushing yards. Why? Because I'm trying to get Mutt Master objectives. And you know what? If I can force any fumbles, that would help as well. In order to get Mutt Master, you got to get a lot of these accumulated stats in your Mutt career. And I'm pretty far behind on rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, and force fumbles and even tackles. So, hey, if my opponent can help me grind Mutt Master fine by me like you normally want to chew clock in this situation to get out of the game as quick as you can and then if your opponent's like intentionally taking penalties and stuff like that you just wait until he gets three penalties and he's kicked out of the game i'm gonna keep him in as long as i can i get I'm, I'm not gonna try to keep him in the game as long as i can like you see like i'm not running hurry up or anything like that he called the time out there not quite sure where he's at mentally so with the game pretty much in hand third down and 15 might as well run this ball like might as well get my rushing yards if it's a turnover on down so be it i don't know what he's gonna do on offense if he's actually gonna try or what we won't find out with that good field position at least because marcus allen has found the crease to get away and that'll be a 65 yard touchdown on essentially a fourth down and 15. So, yeah, my opponent, if he hadn't already lost his mind and hadn't already given up on the game, he's given up now. I think the score was 9-0 when he gave up on the game, so it wasn't really that much of a blowout. Remember, defense touchdowns worth 15 points. No reason to do that. So, I don't know what happened to my dude. We heard him on the mic once when he was talking about how he should have had the interception. I don't know what that frustrated him, and then we compounded his frustrations by getting him to uh, get sacked in the end zone for a safety on the next play, but... That was that was it. That was the boiling point. I don't know what else to say. On the final play of the first half, yeah, I'm gonna run the ball. I'm gonna get some more rushing yards. Why not? Didn't quite work out for us. Doesn't really hurt my feelings here because we're already up 52 to zero. And you know, once again at this point in the game, I'm just here to try to get my rushing yards, get my forced fumbles. If he's gonna continue to try to run backward and celebrate and take hits from the likes of Michael Strahan and Lawrence Taylor on the field, looking nice in these Giants uniforms, by the way. Gotta mention that as he goes the wrong way. Here comes Mark or Lawrence Taylor on Marcus Allen, forcing the fumble. And remember, defensive touchdowns, 15 points. Darius Slay with the recovery, so it'll now be 67 to 0, 68 to 0 after the PAT is up and good. And at this point, I'm thinking, hey, if this guy's gonna stay in the game, let's try to score 100. I always like to make it a personal goal of mine to try to score 100 points in an online game, whether it's team play or just regular play, at least once a year. So, you know what? Let's try to knock this objective out of the way early. Why not? But we're not helped out by the rules that should be set in place. Defense is touchdown! 15 points in my butt! What was that? Why did we only get a normal amount of points for that? And, oh, we should have forced that fumble with Harrison Smith, so... If we could have gotten the extra points, that would have been an extra 9 points. It would have been 84-0. to zero. We would have been one defensive touchdown away from 100. So, um, yeah. Once again, my opponent is absolutely goofing around. He's in the end zone. He's going to fumble the ball. JJ, pick it up! Oh, I don't know how that counted as a fumble recovery. JJ with the just lowest tip of his finger possible is able to keep that ball from bouncing out of bounds instead he keeps it alive for the touchdown the 15 point touchdown this time it counts i don't know what they're doing out here at the scoring system they're kind of asleep at the wheel that's a fumble that's a touchdown that should be 100 points on the board but once again they don't count the defensive touchdown as 15 points 
What are we doing? Is it because I'm... I, it can't be because I'm recovering the ball in the end zone. Because the JJ fumble, we recovered in the end zone. And that was 15 points. The next one wasn't. I don't know what they're doing. But, oh, we were one safety away from getting 100. And we were one yard away from forcing that safety. But my opponent stays at the one yard line. And looks like he might just finally be at his own breaking point and leaving the game. He thinks he's wasting my time. He's wasting his own time. I'm out here trying to get 100 points. I was in a Skype call at the time just talking with my boys as we get the 100 points. So I was just chilling. I was watching one of my other friends play. I think it was Madden or 2K or something with like the 2K demo and... You know, I was just chilling. I was getting my Mont Master objectives. Like, I don't mind being in this game. I feel like this is more of a detriment to his own time than it is to my time. I'm scoring 100 points. I'm like, I got myself a video. I wasn't planning on uploading this stuff, but... You know what? We got 100 points in the game. Let's show this one off to you, boys. Oh, that was a sell job of a juke move right there. Like, hey, I'm chilling. I'm getting more rushing yards. Like, rather than playing in a solo challenge while I'm online, let me kill two birds with one stone. Let me get a win. Let me get four fumbles. Let me get rushing yards. Let me get rushing touchdowns. I'm all gravy, man. I got 107 points. This guy, he's getting absolutely nothing accomplished. So, hey, the troll job has turned the other way on this dude. Like, Hey, stay in the game as long you want to play the entire game? Fine by me. Oh, here comes Lattimore. He ran this play last time, and we should have had the interception. We were out of reach with big play slay, but it's big play of Lattimore who steps up for the INT. I didn't mean to switch on to him, but I just wanted to jump the route. I accidentally switched on to him. Still worked out, though. 15 points for the defensive touchdown. This time they registered a defensive touchdown of 15 points. I Once again, I don't know what their scoring system is all about. I mean, honestly, this guy leaves the game at this point. Fine by me. I was actually declining delay of game penalties. He got like two delay of game penalties before this. And I declined them. I was like, you know, let me just accept one of these now because, um... Yeah, I at some point I do need to leave this game and move on with my life because um, this is going to take a while. At this point, I think I was in the game for half an hour. But since it's three minute quarters instead of four, you know... You would think late third quarter I'd be in here for like almost an hour, but it's, it's really just been half an hour we've been in this game, and I'm just continuing to rack up Mutt Master objectives, racking up points, boosting my own ego, I suppose, and destroying this guy. Like, I don't know what he's doing. And once again, I don't know why this guy gave up so early. It was like 9-0, and he just lost his temper or whatever it happened to this guy. And he's just falling apart mentally, and we, we're going to decline another penalty. Yeah, I, I really tried to keep this guy in the game i it's not it, it's just weird it, it's just such a a flip you would think i would be accepting penalties and all that i'm out here declining penalties it's just not the way these kind of games usually go usually you're trying to get out of here as soon as possible you're putting on shoe clock here i am to score and i'm gonna you know at this point i'm just gonna see how many points i can score screw it like we're gonna score another defensive touchdown we're at 154 we're gonna make it 155 after the pat and yeah, like, can we score 200 in the game? The way he's selling out here, we could get a couple of defensive touchdowns. We might be able to get 200 points. Why not? As he's running the wrong way one more time with the fullback. Not celebrating this time. He's not really feeling that confident to celebrate. I, at some point when your opponent scores that many points, you don't want to celebrate that much, I suppose. And this is actually going to be the last play of the game. He gets a delay of game and he gets kicked. They didn't give me a chance to like accept the penalty or anything. He just gets kicked, so... Yeah, that was it for him. I don't know what his deal was. That man just decided, you know what? We've had enough of this game. Like, the dude scored 155 points. Let's let both parties move on from it. So, yeah, fine by me. We win the game. <laughs> we definitely won the game. Scored a lot of points. Got some objectives. You see, the first thing I did after I ended the game, I wanted to see exactly what I did for my fumbles. I didn't get to see how many forced fumbles I, I had, but I think it had to be around 10. And we definitely got a lot of rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. So, um, yeah, cool with me. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays. Can't promise I'll be scoring close to 155 points, but I'll try, I guess. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.